Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mama Beach and I'm here today to do a review on Coach's Signature Chain Hobo. And this is in the color Boysenberry. This is from the Coach Retail site. And um, it just caught my eye. You know, I love purple. So when I saw this color, I was like, I need to get that and see what it's all about. And I love the chain detail and I thought it had nice styling and I was interested to see how the closure worked. So I ordered myself one and got a lot of comments on my unboxing video that people wanted to see a video on it. So here we are. So let's go through the features of the bag. I've filled it up, I will show you what fits and then I will do mod shots at the end um, to show you what it looks like on the body using all the different strap options. So the first thing I wanna talk about is this gorgeous chain detail. Coach is really getting into doing the signature chain detail on a lot of their bags and I am here for it. I think it's a really nice detail. It gives the bag a little bit of the edge, a little bit of interest. Now when I unboxed this bag, I thought that this strap was removable so that you could use it on other styles. And unfortunately, upon closer inspection, it is not removable. I think that's a big miss here because I would pay money to have this strap. I would use it on dinkies. I would use it on other styles in my collection. So I don't know why they wouldn't make it removable. Um, you can tuck it inside the bag if you don't want it hanging, hanging out or like making that clattering sound. So that's an option but you can't take it off, which I think is a huge bummer. Now the strap you can take off uh, is this one, which would definitely be more comfortable for shoulder carry. You can use this to carry the bag if you wanna make it a little more fancy, or you can use this one, which is definitely built more for comfort and for carrying the weight of the bag. It's a nice, thick, smooth leather strap. And then you have a crossbody strap option that it does appear to be removable, but in a different way. It has like pegs and holes that you need to thread through in order to take it off. But it is nice that this is removable. So you can use this on other bags. You can use this on other bags and you can take them off to get them out of your way if you want to. Fortunately, chain is stuck on here, bummer. So as far as the rest of the styling of the bag, it's pretty simple, classic wide hobo shape. Um, you have this pinch detail on the side, which is really nice. And then on the back, you have an outside pocket. Because this is a structured leather, it's really not that much, not that functional of an outside pocket. You could maybe slide a, a smaller size cell phone with a really slim case back there. My iPhone 8 Plus was a really tight squeeze. I probably wouldn't use this pocket because I'd be afraid to stretch out the leather. But you could slip a credit card in there, or like, you know, just quickly if you're in a hurry and then you know, put it back in your wallet later. So it's nice to have the option. I just don't think it's that functional. And my one gripe about this bag, besides the non-removable chain, would, would be the closure. The closure is not great. Now, when I unboxed this, people commented that they have this bag and their magnet works awesome. So I think it may just be what particular bag you get how good those magnets line up and how strong they are. These are super weak and they don't seem to line up quite right. So I feel like the closure's not that secure. Now, does that bother me a whole lot? Not really. I mean, the bag is still closed. It's like the page 27 that I have where they're doing this overlapping closure again. Um, so it doesn't bother me too much. I think it looks a little sloppy just because this isn't pebbled leather. Page 27, pebbled leather is so malleable. It just goes together so prettily and you don't see this like weird flap. This would probably get better over time as I use the bag and the leather gets softer and more handled, it would probably lay down better. But for now, I do think aesthetically it's not that great. Um, and I definitely think the ma magnet is useless and non-functional, at least on this one. So I just wanna point it out, if you're somebody that really likes your stuff to be secure, you don't like fussy openings, I would not get this style. So in order to open it, you open one flap and then you open the other flap and then you can see the inside. And I will show you, I have put a bunch of stuff in here and actually could fit more. This is not completely full, but I will show you what I have in here. I have a large size glasses case. I have a mid-size pouch. I have a large size pouch. I have a full-size wallet, so that was important. I wanted to make sure that fit, and I have an umbrella. And like I said, you could fit tissues, lip product, maybe another small pouch in here, um, glasses, reading glasses, oh, and my car keys. So let me show you what the inside looks like. 
It is a fabric interior. I thought it was leather when I first opened it, but it's a dark fabric interior with the Coach um, logo printed on it. And it has one zip pocket on the back wall, which is actually a really good size and I would probably use. So let me show you guys what this looks like on the body with the three different strap options so that you can see all the ways it can be carried. Okay, first up, let me show you with the chain strap. I have removed the shorter leather strap so it wouldn't be in my way. So here's the, what that looks like. You can carry it on the arm. You can carry it on, it on the shoulder. On the shoulder, nice strap drop here. It's not in my armpit. I have a nice decent amount of space here. Now if I, when I open the bag and I have to lift those flaps, then it's in my armpit. So I'd probably take it down off my shoulder to actually access my stuff. Let me show you what it looks like crossbody. So it hangs up higher on the hip here, a little higher than I like, but honestly, it's, it's still a decent sized drop. And it looks pretty nice crossbody. It's narrow enough that it's not really sticking out too much. And if I look at these strap things here, I think I could extend it one more hole down. So I might be able to get a little bit more length out of it. But it's nice to be able to take this off so it's not all up in my business while I'm carrying it crossbody. So I do really like that Coach made this removable. So let's put this on now and see how this strap carries. So this is your more comfort strap for shoulder carry. I will show you on the arm. Looks nice on the arm. It's a pretty similar drop to using the chain. And then let me show you on the shoulder. Maybe it's a little bit better than the chain. I feel like I have a little bit more room to breathe here. And if I wanted to reach in and grab stuff, it's not all up in my armpit. I still have some space here so I can see in the bag. So I definitely prefer the drop of this one. So I would maybe use the chain for arm carry, this for shoulder carry, and this for crossbody. It's nice that you have all three options for this bag. So that is my thoughts on the Signature Chain Hobo from Coach Retail in the color Boysenberry. And I really think this is a nice style. It has a great amount of versatility to it, which I really appreciate. I do think the couple of cons are that this isn't removable. I think that's a big miss from, from Coach. A lot of opportunity there if this had been removable. I also hate the closure. I think it's kind of silly. Um, I think it looks kind of sloppy, at least when you first get it. Like I said, it might get better over time. But it does have a lot of great features in terms of the versatility, in terms of all the strap options, in terms of the size. It's not overly heavy either. So um, definitely go check it out if you're, if you're into this particular style. They have a few other colors that I've seen. So um, if you're not a purple person, there's definitely probably a color out there for you. As always, if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'm happy to read them or to hear about your personal experience with this bag, especially if you have a good magnet closure on yours that actually works. Maybe this one's just a fluke. Or if you ordered one and your closure didn't work either, let us know below so that we know if this is a good idea or a bad idea from Coach. And as always, I really appreciate you guys' support here on YouTube. I hope you'll subscribe if you have not and hit the little bell for notifications about my future videos. All right, I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye.